good morning. So, uh, we're going to do a show just today, today. So, I'm getting prepared. I have some beautiful Palo Santo incense that lovely white raven sent to me. I've never burned Palo Santo before. I never burned Palo Santo incense either. I saved this especially to open on this specific day. Mm. Ooh. Ew, backwards. I spilled it all over me. Okay, that's okay. Mm. I love that. <laughs> Gotta be a flame. Careful with flames around here, all the dried. Incense, all the dried incense, all the dried plant materials. Mmm, beautiful. burning. Well, I should put my Palo Santo dust in here. That seems appropriate. Very nice. Today is a very special day. I waited two years for this. It's the full strawberry moon. June. Oh, so exciting. So today, I am going to be informative. I took notes, and I'm going to try to be as informative as possible. If you guys have been watching my YouTube for a while, you will have seen me buy the seeds. Um, I think I got the seeds from Strictly Medicinal Seeds. <clears throat> uh, you'll see me sprout the seeds, grow the seeds. I waited for two years for the root. Um, I just harvested the root. I have a video about that. And um, it is dried. And now I am ready to take it. So what I'm going to do is... I made some moon water in a little cup yesterday and I can't find it so I had to bust out my other moon water. <laughs> Mama dropped her. Odin got a he got a life jacket the other day. Want to show everybody your life jacket? So yeah, I got a life jacket. I'm going swimming. I got a life jacket. It's supposed to be 109 degrees on this Sunday. Oh, whoa. That's a lot. So, uh, we're going to the river and we're staying there. <laughs> Here's my cool little cup. 
I know I got my moon water around here somewhere. But this is this is moon water too. I just had filled up one of these for specifics. We we're gonna find it, so that's fine. So um, I'm gonna grind it. Well, I tell you some information. So what I am trying to get is about um, a teaspoon. I put these um, moisture bags in all my stuff. So I'm going to estimate what I think a teaspoon of powder would be. So, this is called Shosha, X-H-O-S-A. It's African Dream Root. The um, Latin name is Selene Capensis or Selene Undulata. But nowadays they call it Selene Capensis. Um, it is native to the Eastern Cape of South Africa. I'm more comfortable grinding down here. So it is native to the Eastern Cape of South Africa and it has been used for millennia by the Shosha Shaman of the river valleys in South Africa where it is known as Undela Zimhofi. Obviously, I probably butchered that. Or white paths. Um, <coughs> it's regarded by the Shosha tribe as a sacred herb by the Shosha of the South Africa. Or the diviners. It's also known as white paths or white ways. It is a holy teaching plant. The roots, the roots are ground and mixed with water and beaten into a froth and consumed during the full moon. Hence why I waited. It was it's been dried for about a week, but I wanted to I wanted to, you know, out of respect and to try to remain traditional I wanted to do it for the most traditional way the way they do it Just, you know do it right do it with respect these people um, they, they, they take this herb to when they're going on their shamanic journeys so um, 
they take it to obtain guidance from their ancestors. And that is what my mission could be. Um, it has vivid dream recall and you have refreshed feelings after waking up. So what should happen is um, this is actually um, going to be a three-day journey. So I will be taking Shosha every day for three days. I will take it in the morning and possibly take some at night. Um, I got this chunk I can't. Break, chunk, break. Um, Sosha is consumed for three days on the full moon. And a lot of it is for the, um, for the living to communicate with the dead. Not, not necessarily just the dead, but your dead, your dead ancestors to help, help your ancestors, um, bring you some knowledge and some things that you're trying to understand. Uh, it says that you can chew the root, which I will be doing tomorrow. I think tomorrow night I'll chew the root, but this is really, really tough. I think it would have been better with a, um, one of those stone ones. I don't feel like these wood ones grind very good. Um, so they say the, a popular method is to make a tea. Um, I'll talk about that later. I'll be making a tea on my third day. But today is my first day, so I want to follow it fully traditional by the way that they do it and then um today's the first day i will be making the froth the next day tomorrow i'm gonna chew the root and then the day after that i'll be making tea two times um <clears throat> boy this er, if i had a grinder It is an onerogenic agent, which means that it's a substance that causes lucid, vivid dreams, noticeably in color and vibrancy. This root is traditionally used to induce vivid and, according to the Shosha people, prophetic lucid dreams during the initiation processes of the shamans. They say that this root has such a strong musky scent that it can be smelled through your sweat. So I will be smelling like Shosha for a while. I like it. It smells... I guess you just gotta be a, a root person. I like the smell of roots and dirt. That kind of stuff. I feel like I should cut it up some. So, <clears throat> what I am doing is, I grew this plant because I am prepared for a journey to speak with my ancestors and find out what I am. Like, I know what I am, but there's more to me than just that, and I think my life has been... 
there's something I'm supposed to be doing and I know it. I just, I need some information on how to go about, if I'm doing things the right way, basically. Odin's probably going to start barking in a second. So, I hope that's good enough. It's kind of like I should break it more. So, um, I guess the Shusha Shamans is the spirit, and I hope I grind it up. Yes, I'm, I'm looking to obtain guidance from my ancestors and to maybe meet my ancestors a little more fully. I know that I have guides and that when I, when I talk to my guides, I don't really fully see anything. I, I see like, like if I close my eyes at night and I want to talk to my guides, I can see they appear in like pulsating, flickering colors and shapes, and they're different, and they come with different feelings, like some of them give me a headache, or some of them make me feel like full of energy, it's just like all of a sudden I'm like, mm. and I'm getting pretty good at talking to my guides and listening to my guides, but um, hopefully this will bring me closer to them. Look at this big old piece of root here. Doesn't want to. It'd be so much easier if I had a grinder. I had plans to go meet somebody who wrote a book. Uh, I've been listening to their podcast and stuff, and they're having a... Um, a little class and a book signing today, but I tell you what, I ain't going nowhere. It's hot. It's, uh, after I make this video, me and Odin, we are leaving and we're going to the park and we're going to sit underneath the tree all day long until it cools off because I, I have a problem with painting everything that I own black. So I got this trailer and I, uh, painted it black and it's hot. I haven't got any solar panels yet. Well, I guess that's gonna have to be. So what I am supposed to do is I am supposed to fill this up and
supposed to shake it until there's a froth at the top and you're supposed to eat the froth consume the froth until on an empty stomach in the morning until you feel so full that you think you might vomit or you could vomit This is the traditional way, and this is the way I'm going to try it. Okay. Cool, so I think I got this spoon. So this is not supposed to taste good. I do not hear of it tasting good at all. the froth and you're not supposed to drink the liquid you're supposed to eat the foam So this isn't supposed to be pleasant, <laughs> but I'm supposed to keep doing it over and over and over until I feel so full that I want to vomit. And then, because you can wait about an hour or longer, and then when you're hungry, you can eat. Here's to my journey. That doesn't taste strong. Let's just see it's foam. Foamy. It's weird to consume the foam, my body automatically says, mm -mm. I'm not very good at eating because I spent my life traveling and you don't always, it's not like I didn't travel like the good way, I traveled the raging, drunk, blacked out, don't take care of yourself way. So, there wasn't always, like, I never had a steady diet, like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or things like that. I would, like, maybe eat once a day. I didn't take care of myself. So, when I eat at this time in the morning, I get very, my body rejects food until nighttime. I'm not very good at eating during the day. You can foam. <laughs> So I just keep doing it. I think I know what my path is. I think my path is to um, be a healer, to 
make plant medicine and to care for the dead and the dying and animals in my planet and to help heal others and heal myself and I, that's my path but I would like guidance you know I'm always there I try very hard to be there for people you know what I mean and somebody needs somebody to talk to you know I try to I try to be there I know I wasn't there for a lot of my family <clears throat> in my life but you know that was messed up time and a lot of messed up things I didn't know I had PTSD I spent 20 years I didn't know I had PTSD and uh, my life would stack things up on top of it and I didn't I didn't communicate with my family for a really long time um, my husband died from cancer 2023 I lost my children it was a nightmare, and I tried to drink myself to death. And it didn't happen. I got pizza root. I'll put it back in there. And it didn't happen. So. This is, um, I know the mission that I'm on is the mission I'm supposed to be on, but I just like guidance, you know, I'd like my ancestors closer, I'd, I'd like to be able to <coughs> more freely speak with them, or when they're speaking to me, know it's them and not the others. <clears throat> so I say it could take a few days. You want to consume the shosha over a period of three days on the full moon, and um, it's possible that you might not have really vivid dreams on the first night, but you know, you consume it for it'll kick in after a few days and uh, I'll keep the log I'll tell you guys every morning how my night went it was supposed to be vivid dream recall so I should be able to completely remember all my dreams and I got some wacky dreams I tell you what I'm some roller coasters like just crazy the other day I was I was meeting the tree spirits my friend woke me up and I was like you you missed my meeting with the tree trolls <laughs> you messed up my meeting with the tree trolls I've been um, eating and smoking mugwort for the past few days this is my mugwort right here so So we need to eat a mouthful of foam. And this isn't, you're not supposed to be like high or anything. So like after I do this, I shouldn't feel anything all day. This is only supposed to affect your, your sleeping state, your dreams. Oh, well, 
that's basically it. Like, I'm just gonna keep doing this over and over and over until I feel like I'm gonna puke or until I possibly puke. And then, um, then tonight I will sleep. And then tomorrow I will wake up and I will chew on some roots. I'll make a video of that too. Oh, I'll, I'll wake up. I'll tell you if I had any dreams or anything. And then I'll chew on the root. And then I'll go to sleep that night. And then I'll wake up. And I'll tell you if I had any dreams or not. And then I'll have some tea. I'll have some tea in the morning. And then I'll have some tea before I go to bed. And there's a tea recipe. Um, <clears throat> a popular method is to make a tea. Oh, there's a website called um, Zamnesia that I think is pretty cool. You guys should check it out. Z-A-M-N-E-S-I-A. -E just just go to Google and put that in, and it should come up with like a like a blue and white like tribal face. And they do a lot of um, hallucinogens and things like that. And uh, Ooh. I got some information from them and I got this tea recipe <clears throat> so it says um, a popular method is to make a tea uh, I got the recipe from zamnesia.com um, a little bit of cinnamon a little bit of ginger some shosha root and honey and just you know make tea put it in some hot water and So on the third day, I'll drink tea twice, once in the morning, once at night, and then that should be. I, I had some crazy dreams last night, but I can't remember them. I just remember, I have like crazy adventure dreams where like I'll be on roller coasters or like ships or trains and I'll be going up and down mountains and there'll be zombies and there'll be sharks and there'll be zombie sharks <laughs> and it's just a crazy adventure and sometimes my friends will be there sometimes it'll be people I don't know at all and um, it's like going to some, um, some crazy theme park my, my mind is like a theme park So it's possible that um, for another week or so I might smell like this, like come out of my pores, which doesn't, I'm cool with that, it doesn't smell like anything to me except for root and earth, so I, the other day when I went out to clean tombstones, I, uh, when I clean tombstones, I spend the whole day covered in graveyard dirt. It's very special to me. It's all over me. <clears throat> Obviously, I wash my hands because I have to, but it's all over me. It's all over my legs, all over my clothes. And uh, when you get down there and you're scrubbing, it's like, I personally love the smell. It's like, I smell like granite and dirt and moss and cemeteries and I smell like the cemetery and it just makes me really happy. I'm happy to smell like a tombstone. I wish I could make a perfume that's called tombstone and it smells like dirt and moss and granite. I think there's a place called Seance Perfumes. I've seen some of my Facebook friends mention them on Facebook and Instagram and uh, they look really cool. If I had money, I would buy it. <coughs> I'm going to try to figure out how to get a t-shirt from White Raven. She just, she just made shirts and I want one. So I'm going to figure out. Maybe I'll ask my mom to order it for me and then give her the money.
Because I want one. I want them all, really. I want everything she makes. She's so cool. She's so cool. She sent me presents. She sent me the Palo Santo. That's beautiful. It smells really good. I saved it all the way till this day. I saved it for almost a year. I'm, I'm like that. I can save some stuff. And I can wait, too. That's the scary thing about a Scorpio. I can wait. If, I, if you did me dirty, I'll get you 20 years later. I think nothing's coming. Because <laughs> you'll forget about me. <clears throat> they say revenge is the dish best served cold. But I'm a nice guy now. I only do people dirty who deserve it. And most people nowadays, if you think about it, I think my personal life has brought me to a mental conclusion of things that people just don't know what they're doing. And sometimes people who are doing things to you it could be so many things jealousy it could be they don't know how to control their own emotions and how they're feeling about something so they do something to you because they don't know how to control themselves but a good way to deal with that is to actually be like hey are you okay like, even if you don't like them, you know, there's always somebody out there who just needs somebody. But they're throwing a fit. They're destroying themselves and others, you know. They, they need somebody to be like, hey, are you okay? You know, it could be somebody to talk to. Uh, I tell you a story about the time the guy tried to stab me and my friend in the cemetery. Nothing ever bad is going to happen to me in the cemetery. I'll tell you that. But, um, we're, we went to the cemetery. We were traveling. So we stopped for the night. And I wanted to go to the cemetery and chill out. And we busted out the barbecue and made some burgers. And then, like, like out of nowhere, this guy just appears right in front of me. I like bent down to get something. I stand back up and there's this guy standing in front of me and I'm like, what? And he's got a knife in his hand. And uh, my friend like, busts out his knife. He's like, what? And dude's like, ooh, ooh, and just drops his knife. And you could tell that he was, he wasn't there. He was definitely on a lot of drugs. And uh, you know, I was like, are you okay? Like. You look a little freaked out. You trying to stab people out here? What? And he's like, oh, you know, they're coming to get me and all this stuff. And I was like, well, um, give me a knife. And I'll give you some water and some food because you look like you need to eat something and drink some water. And he was like, oh. And I was like, we're not going to hurt you. We're not here to get you. You know, I think he was, he thought... Especially, like, if you're going to be a drug, all high on drugs and stuff, don't be high on drugs and up for days near the cemetery because they're going to come see you and it's going to scare the shit out of you because you're now open to that. And so, you know, I figured basically that's what was happening with him. So I was like, give me your knife, dude. I took his knife from him and told him to sit down he laid on the ground he was like Ugh. and I was like here I gave him a water bottle and a piece of cake and I was like you need to fucking chill the hell out I, my friend was like you can't just talk to people with knives in their hands and I was like I ain't scared of nothing like what's he gonna do kill me that's what I've been waiting for for 40 years so But yes, that was dangerous, and don't do that. <laughs> and, uh, 
there. You never know. So this is probably going to take a while. I'm just going to keep doing it. Eat the foam, shake it up, eat the foam, shake it up until I feel full and gross. Once I feel full and gross, then I stop. So, and I won't be adding any more, just one, one teaspoon to the water. Shake it, shake it, shake it, eat the foam, shake it, eat the foam until you're done. Don't drink the liquid. And that's it. See you tomorrow. I'll tell you how it went. <clears throat> Let me see. My plants. I got a huge pile of everything's drying. <sighs> Alright guys, peace out.